write the expression without absolute values. I've always thought these types of problems were kind of tricky, especially at the level that they are introduced. So in order to do this problem, you have to know the definition of absolute value. So the absolute value of x is a piecewise function. It's equal to x if x is greater than or equal to zero, and it's equal to the opposite of x if x is less than zero. So in this case, we have to think about this term here, and this is gonna be our x. And we have to think about whether or not it's greater than or equal to zero or less than zero. So we know that the square root of nine is equal to three. And it's clear that the square root of nine is less than the square root of 10. So if we take three minus the square root of 10, this is a number smaller than the square root, or rather bigger than the square root of nine. So this number is bigger than three, so this is less than zero. So we have to take three minus the square root of 10, and using this as our x, we have to decide which condition to use. Well, we know that x is less than zero. So that means we have to use this piece here. So all we do is we put a negative sign in front of our x. So this is three minus the square root of 10. And then we can distribute, so we end up with negative three, and then negative and negative is positive, so we get plus the square root of 10. I hope that made some sense.